Hello everyone, time for another tip of the week. So um, this week let's talk about adding ease. So um, I will once again do this demonstration in Harmony in this case, but you do have the same ability in Animate and Animate Pro um, for what I'm about to do. So let's just add a drawing in here. Um, I'll just put this sort of circle looking drawing in there and I'll extend the exposure on my drawing so that it lasts for the entire um, length of the timeline there. And then I'll add a peg layer and I'll put some keyframes on this. So maybe I'll have, I'll hit F6 um, there on frame 1 to keep it where it is. And then maybe I'll go to frame 20 and I can take my transform tool and move it over. And just for the sake of doing something additional, you can hit F6 again and move it upwards um, so that you have something that's going on there. Now, one of the things that I get asked, by the way, um, is about how the, how the path works um, when you're doing something like a 3D path, you'll notice that it kind of does a curve path by default. I will do another tip of the week on that next time. So you'll be able to see that. Um, I'll do that very shortly. So I'll be able to explain a bit more about that path. But today, let's just talk about the ease. So when you're easing drawings, you can click on the plus sign in here and you can put an ease directly on a specific function. So for example, if I want to ease the velocity, I could just double click on that velocity graph and let's say I want to put some ease in the center then I can just drag on those handles so it's going to slow in and slow out of that one. If you want to do a fast in you're going to have it kind of approach that rapidly, approach that last one rapidly. So in other words if I wanted this fast out I would have that go up. If I want to have it slow out I have this spend more time closer to this value. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's just try this one and then um, let's hit play and see how this plays back. So you can already see now how that ease is applied. It's spending a lot of time close to that center keyframe, um, which is pretty cool. So let's go back in here now, um, take that velocity one and I'm just going to kind of smooth that back out to a standard uh, linear path there so that I can show you some other ways of doing ease. Um, so this way where you go in and you actually adjust the function directly works pretty well when you've only got one peg layer. Um, but let's say you've got a whole cutout character and you want to ease the entire movement. Um, what I would do in that case is you would collapse the master peg on your character, create a keyframe on all the layers, so hit F6 to create your keyframe, create a keyframe again with F6 somewhere later and on the third one or wherever. But then instead of going in the individual functions, what we'll do instead is we'll use this tool called set ease on multiple parameters. So if you go to Windows and then Toolbar and Timeline View, you'll find this button in your timeline. And if you don't see it down there, you can um, right click over this area here on the left of the toolbar and hit customize and just make sure that you add that in there. There's a variety of different um, tools or, or functions there that you can add to these toolbars and there's a certain sort of default set of them. I may have modified mine to add or remove certain ones but you've, you pretty much you want to make sure that you've got that um, that one in there because that's a pretty good one to use. So then let's see what happens when you do it now. When you click on the set ease on multiple parameters button it just gives you this function window and then you can select the um, the handle in there and you can drag on it. So just like with the other one, when you keep it closer to the frame for longer, it's going to ease out or it's going to fast out when you have the handle going up. And then this is a linear one in there by default. So what it does is it, is it applies, in this case, it's applying the ease to all of the functions selected. I have one peg layer selected, so it's selecting the motion, rotation scale, and skew of the one peg layer. If you want to, you can disable um, motion is the only one that has keyframes on it, so if you disable the motion it's not really going to do much. And I don't have keyframes on rotation, scale, and skew, so it doesn't really make a difference there. But it does, you can see the difference in the number of functions that it, that it will show there. So um, when you have a cutout character and you're doing, um, you know, like an arm rotation or something, you might just want to do some ease on the rotation of it. Uh, but usually I think you just kind of apply it to the entire character. and. Um, and that's it. So if you only want to do it on specifically the arm or whatever, then you can just go in, select only specifically the arm, and then use set ease for multiple parameters. And once you're done, let's say let's slow out of this one, we can hit apply next, and then it zooms us over to the next keyframe so that we could, maybe if I want to slow into this one, I drag it that way. If I want to fast into it, I drag it up. 
Um, so just to have something different, we'll do a fast one in the center here, um, which is going to be different than the example I did last time, and then we'll slow into the last one. So now if we take a look at this, it's really zooming quickly through the middle frame. So there we go. That is ease in a nutshell. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys, and I will see you next week.